Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Metro Exodus. So we are still lost in the taiga. We're searching for Alyosha, searching for a radio to get back in touch with people. We need to be making our way over towards this church, I think. We've snuck our way through most of the place. We haven't killed anyone. Um, I hope I haven't missed Alyosha. The fact that we have to push through here makes me wonder if this is some sort of interaction boss fight maybe i can still hear that, hear that guy repeating the same lines sorry graves music is very underrated in this game How was that? Guess we could it. Yeah, I really didn't need this. Big fella. Did that miss? supposed to run. No, we're not. We can't get through. Ah! Okay, great. Heal up our jump. What now can we cut the rope? Beautiful. No one noticed that? Me fighting a giant bear, sparing all your lives. Alyosha, what is your 
situation. Over. How is it going? We've got a radio. Come on now. I can still hear that guy recycling his lines. Of course we need fuel. This isn't going to have any in. What are we even doing here? Oh, it's got some in. Well, how unexpected, guys. We've got a workbench. Check this out first. Get our shotgun up to speed. Explosive bolts. They're pretty cheap. Get rid of the pistol ammunition. Alright, that'll have to do. Can we not use this radio? Freeze drifter! Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, we meet again? Is that Olga? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the master of the forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it! Sorry, teacher. The locks are all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Okay. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As At usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. Oh, great. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. But that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed. So just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. Oh, I'm sure he'll remember you. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Sweet. What are we even doing here? Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. Yes. And I'm stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, 
People all but stopped coming here, though they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. Gosh. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything. Anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning he was gone. To this church. At first he wouldn't speak to anyone. But us girls kept checking up on him just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore, though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience keeps them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them musts. One day they took about 10 bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that, and then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They're talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. So you're a pie there? In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July. And in September, he shot himself. That seems to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they are not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight? is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. 
The one I had the most trouble with was the admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the admiral. And the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The admiral would have none of that. So he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't burn us all for nothing. So now, without the admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the council. I'll put a leash on them tonight, all right. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. <laughs> you could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. I shall. Yes. I must have heard it a hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. Thanks for the chat, Olga. <sighs> Got any more to say? Right, what time is it? Close to the morning. We need to get over there. Gonna be a rough one. The radio's silent. My last hope for giving them a positive goal. Leading them out of this forest dead end was a complete fluke. Where did I go wrong? How could these great, talented, active, brave, honest, friendly children who would actively seek justice turn into monsters? Sure, I'm no Pestalozzi, but I did all I could. And even more, I gave them all my soul, my life. And uh, what did that result in? A society of shut-ins who only respect strength and are no less cruel than the bandits they fight. Yes, some of them kept their purity, shrugged off the bad influence, and ended up leaving. I gave them all the fuel I had. But how few they were. Most changed. Could it be that in this world that routinely changes even the harmless animals into nightmarish freaks? Mankind simply has no future. What is there to hope for? What's the point of even going through the motions anymore? He gave up. Well, at tonight's council session, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Yeah, you do that, Olga. Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? No. Defending ourselves is one thing. But attacking? They can't deny that. And we'll have to stand down. Those pirates. Oh, boys. There's where the train car went into the drink. We discovered a few points of interest. 
Um, what does the objective say officially? Leosha probably did visit the church, but already left for the dam. I should catch up with him, so I'd better follow, follow the old road again. But the old road is straight down, right? Is there a way down, Olga? Bingo. We'll try and sneak through as best we can. I'd hoped we'd get some night vision goggles back. Need to follow the road. Careful, Matt. Died from fall damage once already, right? Oh man, we could have zip lined. Don't know if we could have rested there to make sure it was night time. Damn it. Let's save it here in case we need to run back anywhere. This is going to be scary, that's for damn sure. Pardon the damn pun. <laughs> okay, that's the optional place. It's got enemies in there. Click. So that's probably an entrance that we can use. Oh. Okay, so someone's getting tortured. that to me all right fine be that way guess we're going around then <laughs> You didn't, don't pretend like you counted to five. Flipping heck, I ran away. Don't know how to count. You don't know how to count. Fellas, you want a gunfight? Nah, 
right, let's leave it. Let's leave it. We're not getting in the front door. Goes without saying. I think we're going to run into fish guys in here. To shrimps. And lady shrimps. to reload so that it can do this at night guys go back as far as I can ah. I don't think I can go back up can I I think there was anywhere to rest up there, but I could be wrong. could have done with resting but we're not going to get away with it I'll try and go around the outside straight obviously straight away this time Thank you. Beautiful. Let's get back to dark so that we can stealth this to death. Sorry, Alyosha. I know you said get there as quick as you I can, but <laughs> look at this, guys. Look at the dam. I can't believe they've not given me night vision goggles. I'm basically uploading black videos now, just darkness. So, I'm making that a uh, uh, hard save there. Hello? We've just gone through our main objective again. We'll try and stick to the road. And hope that they don't notice us this time. We can hear them torturing someone. Yeah, it's like this place isn't like cut and dry with the bandits and stuff, is it? So I think we have to be extremely careful here. myself going at the front door last time. 
I'm going to try and get in. I don't know if we can help the people in there. Or if they just killed that guy, or I don't know. Like we couldn't save the guy that they were torturing last time, so I'm thinking maybe not. But... We'll catch them all anyways. The first one maybe. The second one no. Is a tough catch. Lots of people tried, no dice. <laughs> That's one sneaky bastard. Which mm -hmm. means if we catch him. Yeah, we'll be saying our vows in the teacher's house tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. This is our chance to become instructors. Yeah, I feel like taking these guys out. Dude, are you just going to stand there? Is there another way in? Hey, who's that over there? You serious? What the? Ah, nobody again. No luck again. A uh, stupid place. There are wolves around and whatever else. I hate my life. Yes, you hate your life. Pirates. Have a minute, will you? Pirates. Oh, I have this feeling. A really unpleasant one. <laughs> The drifter. They already caught him once. I heard someone even got his instructor's badge over that, but then the drifter just beat it. So what if he did? There are guards and traps at every path now. He stole a boat, that's what. The guys went down the river, hoped to catch him at the rapids. Don't shoot hold him for a while. Are they both? Well, they're all packing like loads of different weapons. No, no, no. Nice invisible chair there, friend. Someone nearby. Excellent. Why the hell do I have to stand here? Oh, this no. <laughs> the prompt appeared as soon as I pressed shoot. Damn it, guys. Uh, as if the intruders would come here. The wolves, that's for sure. 
It's like I got the button prompt for turning the light. Oh, it's that. Another one over here. This place is a lot bigger than I originally thought. Uh oh, he's gonna find bodies. Please, game, stop doing this. Must be because they're in the light or it'll get me spotted so the game's just being more intelligent than me. <laughs> this place is so much bigger than I, I originally thought. Sorry, Mr. Fisherman. This place. I know the forest by the back of my head. I still can't relax here. Jora, do you know if anybody went to the church today? I don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> must have been the intruder. Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the round the corner ones just don't work at all, do they? Jora, do you know if anybody went to the church today? I don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no. <laughs> Okay, I have to interrupt your conversation there, guys. Oh, come on now. Did something fall down there? Yeah. Nope. I have to see what's there. Yeah. Huh, well, what could it be? Ah, so much garbage all over the place. They're all, all slackers. Right. I know what to do if I see the intruder first. But what if he sees me first? <laughs> what if he's already seen you, buddy? Nothing here, as I knew! 
Yeah, we're just wasting our time running around. He's going to face that way. What can I even defend here? I sure don't know. Sorry, guys. It's so dark now. Uh-oh. I'm rumbled. Sorry, Captain Blackbeard. Good lord. Oh, why would the intruders want to go? <laughs> All right. Don't know what the point of clearing this place out is. I could just could have just got in the boat. Now I don't know what this lever does. Let's just press it. Did we need that to sail through? Did it was it like a, a sluice gate? Who's left? I can still hear some annoying guy whistling. I tell where it's coming from. Yeah, they're probably going to be up here. There's one over there, man. So why the hell did you, Senya, give away that boat? You're no pirate now, but a dirty landlubber. Olga asked for it, that's why. Have you seen her? Had she asked, I'd carry her to that lumber mill myself and be grateful. Yes, Olga is amazing. I. Yeah, oh, the outlook saw them when they were almost there already. Ah, what's that? There, look. Darn, can't see from here. I'll go look at it from there, I get. What? <laughs> the way he was talking to him, I thought he was a prisoner. I genuinely thought he was a prisoner. Because he was like, why did you give the boat away? Ah. Olga asked for it, that's why. <laughs> Have you seen her? Had she asked, I'd carry her to that lumber mill myself and be grateful. Sorry, dude. All right. Yeah, this was where they tried to shoot us earlier on, right? Hmm. 
Right, let's go hop in the boat. We've opened the passage. I just need to remember where the hell the uh, <laughs> boat was. I think it's back on this side. Yep. Most pointless ladder ever. Um, bingo. Now there's going to be shrimps. You know there's going to be shrimps. Brace yourselves. I'm still going to jump. but Because the water is not being dis disturbed at all. And they're just going to come out from the deep. Because we saw that shrimp up, up there. Right? We know that they're here. Maybe the zarfish makes a comeback. <laughs> So is this the way through? I think so. There's no way you could get through here without uh, getting noticed. There's the gate we opened. You could probably jump off the boat here and open it, right? If you went through while the enemies were still there. Oh, we made it. Kind of. I imagine there's going to be shrimps. Oh, you are not real. <laughs> this might be a mask zone. We need to climb the tower and zip line over, right? <laughs> this guy wasn't so fortunate. Wonder what happened to him. Let's say uh, get our torch on. Oh, we're not under threat. Float in there. I'm coming, Alyosha. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. that that uh, I have no idea what that is oh it was a new um Check this out. Twin bow. Compact and powerful pulley system ensures extremely high bolt, velo uh, bolt velocities. Staggered magazine. Extended magazine. Okay. Only affects our stability a bit. Yeah, let's go with that then.
Looks like it's the only way forwards. Alright guys, unfortunately I'm going to have to end that episode there because we're on like 52 minutes. Um, oh, those were explosive arrows. Nice. So yeah, we, uh, we've made our way through. We met back up with Olga. We learned a bit about the backstory about how their group kind of lost their humanity and they split into two different factions who are uncomfortable with each other but are now friendly and they only really are wary of the bandits. The pirates like brutally murder the bandits whereas the um, people of the forest, whatever they were called, uh, are more human. They try not to kill people unless it's life or death. Um, so yeah, we'll make further progress towards the lost next time. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you back in the tiger.